The Grant Coors Ranch National Historic Site, created in 1972, commemorates the western cattle industry from its 1850s inception through recent times. The original ranch was established in 1862 by a Canadian fur trader, Johnny Grant, at Cottonwood Creek, Montana future site of Deer Lodge, Montana, along the banks of the Clark Fork River. The ranch was later expanded by a cattle baron, Conrad Coors the 1,618 acres (6.55 square kilometers) historic site, originally designated a national historic landmark in 1960, is maintained today as a working ranch by the National Park Service. Topic: <laughs> Founding the ranch. Johnny Francis Grant was born at Fort Edmonton, Alberta, Canada. His mother died when he was only three years old, so he was sent to Trois-Rivières, Quebec, to be raised by his grandmother. His father, Captain Richard Grant, was a Hudson's Bay Company employee, and therefore, in his mid-teens, he left for Fort Hall, Idaho, to meet up with his father. There he learned the trading business. However, in the 1840s the fur trade was dying out, so Johnny Grant and his brother James turned to trading with emigrants traveling west along the Oregon Trail. He made a considerable profit by trading travelers one healthy cow or horse for two trail-wearied ones. He then fed and rested the tired animals and the following season traded them again. This is how he got into the cattle business. Grant started using the Deer Lodge Valley in 1857 to graze his cattle during the winter along the banks of the Clark Fork River near Cottonwood Creek. In 1859 he decided to permanently locate a ranch and constructed a permanent residence in 1862. He convinced traders to settle around him, forming the town of Cottonwood later to become Deer Lodge. Johnny was initially successful, but found that when gold miners arrived in the area, he was at a disadvantage, because he spoke French and the newcomers spoke English. He was taken advantage of in contracts and felt that he could no longer be successful in the area. In August 1866, he sold his ranch to a cattle baron, Conrad Coors, for $19,200 and returned to Canada. Conrad Coors Home Ranch 1866 Conrad Coors was born on August 5, 1835, in Wewelsflith, in Holstein Province, which was then a part of the German Confederation. At the age of 22, he became a citizen of the United States. He went to California during the Gold Rush days. He then moved on to Canada and arrived at the gold camps of Montana in 1862. He never struck gold, but he became wealthy by selling beef to the miners. Coors built his cattle operation until he owned 50,000 head of cattle and had grazing pasture of 10 million acres 40, square kilometers. However, he had a setback when the severe winter of 1886–1887 left over half the cattle population in the northwest dead. Most cattlemen went bankrupt, but Coors managed to receive a $100,000 loan from his banker, A.J. Davis. While the open range era was ending, Coors adapted successfully and was able to pay off the loan in only four years. Coors and his half-brother, John Bielenberg, turned to more modern methods of ranching, including buying purebred breeding stock, fencing his rangeland and raising and storing fodder. His became known as, Montana's Cattle King. Bielenberg helped Coors to run the Grant Coors Ranch. He originally came to Montana at age 18 in 1864 to help with the butcher shop that served the mining camps. Bielenberg had a lot to do with the horse side of the Grant Coors Ranch. He bred what were called the Big Circle horses, reputed to be able to cover 20 miles of country in a half a day, a trait useful when gathering cattle spread over a very large area. Together, Bielenberg and Coors made a most successful team for over half a century. Topic: <inaudible> <inaudible> Decline of the Open Range and Dissolution of the Coors Bielenberg Ranch, 1877 to 1922. The winter of 1886 to 1887 was one of the harshest on record in Montana. Ranchers using the open range for their herds lost upwards of 90% of their cattle to brutal cold and lack of feed. In eastern Montana, temperatures hovered at 30 to 40 degrees below zero for weeks on end. 
The summer of 1887 witnesses a great many ranchers in Montana go out of business. Equals equals Conrad K. Warren era, 1922 to 1940. Equals equals. Topic: Warren Hereford Ranch, 1940 to 1958. Transfer to National Park Service In the 1960s, the National Park Service, under the leadership of Director Conrad Wirth, re-energized the search for historic properties under the auspices of the Historic Sites Act of 1935 and Mission 66. The original Grant Corps Ranch was among several other ranches which were recommended for National Historic Landmark status. Con Warren wanted to sell the Grant Corps portion of his ranch to the National Park Service as a historic landmark. In 1970 an agreement to sell the property to the Park Service was achieved with the proviso that it would be managed as a living ranch by the National Park Service. The original purchase involved 130 acres .53 square kilometers of the active Warren Hereford Ranch. In December 1970, the National Park Foundation acquired an additional 1180 acres, 4.8 square kilometers of the ranch, allowing the National Park Service to take administrative control of the site. In August 1972, the US Congress authorized the establishment of Grant Corps Ranch National Historic Site to provide an understanding of the frontier cattle era of the nation's history, to preserve the Grant Corps Ranch, and to interpret the nationally significant values thereof for the benefit and inspiration of future generations. In 1972 the National Park Foundation transferred ownership of its portions of the site to the National Park Service. Initially the site was administered under the jurisdiction of Yellowstone National Park. In 1972 the Grant Corps Ranch National Historic Site was administratively listed on the National Register of Historic Places. Throughout the 1970s, the National Park Service continued to acquire acreage from Conrad Warren, rehabilitate elements of the ranch and provide improvements for visitation to include a visitor center, interpretive trails and access for the public. In 1974 the site became an independently operating unit of the National Park Service with its own superintendent, historian and budget. A formal dedication ceremony was held on July 17, 1977, and visitors were admitted to the new site. <laughs> <laughs> National Park Service operations The Grant Corps National Historic Site today is operated by the National Park Service. It is a major tourist attraction in Deer Lodge, Montana, and the tour is free. The National Park Service runs it as a living history ranch, using draft horse teams to hay the land, and blacksmiths on site make horseshoes for the horses. They keep all operations as close to how they would be in the 19th century as possible. Ranch properties See also National Register of Historic Places listings in Powell County, Montana List of National Historic Landmarks in Montana Topic notes John Milner Associates, Ravana Archaeological Consulting, Susan Maxman and Partners Architects July 2004. Grant Coors Ranch National Historic Site, Deer Lodge, Montana, Cultural Landscape Report Part 1 PDF. National Park Service Archived from the original PDF on the 14th of January 2014. Retrieved the 10th of December 2012. Shapen's Belt Collins, February 2009. Grant Coors Ranch National Historic Site, Deer Lodge, Montana. Cultural Landscape Report Part 2 PDF. National Park Service. Archived from the original PDF on the 14th of January 2014. Retrieved the 10th of December 2012. John Albright 1979. Grant Coors Ranch National Historic Resource Study, Cultural Resources Statement and Historic Structure Report. National Park Service. Archived from the original on 14 January 2014. Retrieved 10 December 2012. <laughs> <laughs> External links 
National Park Service, Grant Coors Ranch National Historic Site Cowboys to Cattlemen, Grant Coors Ranch National Historic Site, Virtual Museum Exhibit from National Park Service Representative National Park Service, 13 July 2012. Webb, 12 October 2012. John Francis Grant National Park Service, N.D. Webb, 16 October 2012. Conrad Coors National Park Service, N.D. Webb, 16 October 2012. Grant Coors Ranch National Historic Site Montana's Gold West Country. N. P. N. D. Webb, 12 October 2012. Grant Coors Ranch National Historic Site Grant Coors Ranch National Historic Site. National Park Foundation, N. D. Webb, 16 October 2012. John Bielenberg National Park Service, N. D. Webb, 17 October 2012.